I get my week, I get my hands on one of the top designs of the 20th century, the motor scooter. There are a lot of scooters around these days, but the serious collector tends to go for those produced in the late 60s and early 70s, like this beauty here. Well, I had it tough this week. I... Also, very untrue. I don't think so. Here it is. Scooters are the ultimate modern thing, which is why mods love them, incidentally. Like all people's vehicles, they are attractively designed and much loved. In 1963, I was 13 years old. The mod scene was really big in England. I wanted to be just like those. I remember when I saw my first scooter, I loved it. I had five scooters when I was 13. As soon as I was 16, I was on the road. Australia wasn't really a big scootering country, was it? Do you have difficulty getting hold of these things? Getting hold of the scooters themselves is very difficult and uh, there isn't vast amounts of them laying around. So does that tend to make collectors out of scooterists? Every person I know who's in scootering has multiple scooters. So yes, we are collectors. <laughs> We, we have clothing, music that's associated with the scene, we have our own bands, and we ride together. It's a yeah. very mixed bunch of people. Yeah, yeah. You can have bank managers on one side and you can have a house painter on the other. It's such a small community that everyone mixes very well. There are a lot of scooters around these days, both new and old, but the serious collector tends to go for those produced in the late 60s and early 70s, like this beauty here. Well, basically, it handles like a stick in a bag of marbles, but uh, you sort of get used to it after a while. This is basically just for show. We met these guys and, like, the passion and the enthusiasm for, like, the vintage-style scooters. I got convinced that um, I could maybe take this off. She's my little baby. Her name is Nix. We're having a blessing ceremony for her very soon. OK, what makes a scooter a scooter? It's simple, really. The most distinguishing thing is this weather shield at the front, which protects the legs. But the other thing about scooters is that they completely hide all the engineering. What you want is the style to show forth. So you've got these beautiful panels, these beautiful, comfortable seats, and easy to control controls, literally for scooting around town. Take it away, John. <laughs> you didn't look entirely comfortable on the back of that scooter, Adrian. <laughs> look, look, these were made for Bridget Bardot and her boyfriend, right, mm. for poodling around Rome, not screaming through Sydney on a Saturday <laughs> afternoon with a middle-aged bloke. <laughs> <laughs> He'd been in the pub for a couple of hours. I love the fur. I love the fur. City yeah. All right. It's my it. colour, wasn't it? Getting it serious, how much do we pay for a Lambretta these days? Um, I think we're going to be paying about three grand, mm. depending on you know, how good, how desirable they are. Mm. But, yeah. So were you tempted to pick one up after that? I was, actually. It really brought back memories, mm. yeah. pleasant ones. Mm. Mm. OK, let's get...